Deus será que eu vivo? Oh, Bebel. Be with me always. Take any form and drive me mad, but don't leave me. The abyss where I cannot find you. I cannot live without my life. my soul. Being married will not be such a bad thing, will it, Catherine? I'm going to see my father. Miss Lockett was your mother. I hope you'll be a dutiful daughter. I defy you to frighten me. Have you heard how your wife speaks to me, If you cannot take her in hand, perhaps I'll have to do so myself. Linton loves me, and for that reason I love him. Mr. Heathcliff, you have nobody to love you. And however miserable you make us, we shall still have the revenge of thinking that your cruelty rises from your greater misery. said that we shall live here, Linton and I together, and we will fill the house with children and happiness. Then I can go to her. I have been very happy with my little Catherine. Mm. Oh, I see, playing the loyal service to the last, are we? Make haste to get my daughter's things together. Don't oblige me to compel you. Why not let Catherine continue here? Send Master Linton to her. I'm seeking another tenant for the Grange. Aren't my children about me, to be sure? You are on my property. Stand to one side. Yes, I'll have the constable on you. This is green. My solicitor will give each of you a notice to quit. Perhaps you should come down and sit by the fire for a few moments. Just while Linton sleeps. I'll stay up here. I brought your book. Nelly said you might like it. Thought you might be in need of distraction. Catherine, come and sit by the fire, my love. Just while Linton sleeps. We'll listen out for him, won't we, Hareton? Thank you. Blackwing. Bonnie Bird. 
wheels off your head on more when it's trying to get to his nest. Be to my solicitor. Linton has bequeathed me all of his estate. When he dies, you will be destitute. But I've no need for books. If I'm as poor as you say, then I have every need of books to help me escape my miserable fate. What a hideous tyrant. And you, sitting there like a dumb ox while he abuses me. What was I supposed to have done? What was I supposed to have done? Stand up to the fiend. How would you like it if I abused your father? He's not your father. Hindley was your father, and Heathcliff ruined him and drove him to an early grave. Heathcliff showed me more love than my father. Yes, so that he could trick you out of your rightful inheritance. Don't speak of Heathcliff like that. I'd rather you would abuse me. Very well. I thought your dumb state was down to your upbringing. But now I see it's the state you prefer, much like a dog or a cart horse. And if ever needed proof, it is your cowardice in not standing to that man. You're a damned liar. Why have I made him angry by taking your part, then? A hundred times. I shall have nothing to do with you and your mucky pride and your damned mocking tricks. I shall go to hell, body and soul, before I look sideways at you again. Is that true? What Hareton said about taking my part? Mistaken beatings for you, that is true. Why does he insist on defending Heathcliff? Because he is attached to him by ties stronger than reason can break. And it's cruel of you to try and loosen them. Husband, your son, he's dead. My son, Linton. Linton is dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Sorry. And I am sorry. The things I said to you I did not mean it. I was miserable and bitter at everybody. And I would like you to forgive me. Catherine, are you? She was upstairs. Picked some flowers from over at Grange. Oh, did you? It seemed a shame to waste them. They would last at summer. If 
If he finds you in here, he will punish you. But he can't hurt me. I think even he knows that. I thought we could be friends. Even though you'll be ashamed of me. I will not be. I think I would like a friend. One of my mother's exercise books. How she loved Heathcliff. What are you two doing in here? I wanted to feel close to what is left of my family. I'm the only person to blame. Hareton stayed with me at my insistence. And who the devil gave you leave to set one foot in here? And who ordered you to obey her? You shouldn't grudge me one room when you have taken everything from me. You insolent slut. You never had anything. If you strike me, Hareton will strike you. And if Hareton doesn't turn you out of this room, I will strike him back to hell. Hareton, take her. Take her and leave me. All of you, leave me now. Learn to avoid putting me in a passion. You once told me love would only bring me grief and pain and suffering. I've seen nothing in my life to change that opinion otherwise. You misled me. Not purposely, I don't suppose, but you were wrong. If that is true, then my whole life's endeavors have been wrong too. Is that what you would have me believe? I would have you believe whatever brings you peace. <laughs> would that not be a poor conclusion? An absurd termination to my violent exertions? I feel for you in such a variety of ways. In the first place, your startling likeness to Cathy fearfully connected you with her, but then what is not connected with her to me? What does not recall her? The entire world is a dreadful collection of memoranda that she did exist and that I have lost her. And you have no feeling of illness, have you? No. I hope not. I never felt stronger. I think first you should kiss me for minding so well. Five kisses if you read it through with no further blunders. <laughs> 